China just produced a robot war dog. It can walk, run, hide, seek, and fire a gun. And it's scary as hell. But obviously, this is the future of warfare. See, here's the thing that everyone seems to be missing in the recent economic debate. We are in a massive technology competition with China. Both countries are racing to create better weapons, better factories, and better products. But these weapons and products, they're not being built in your grandpa's factory. The idea that we have some sweatshop with people physically making things, that's completely outdated and uninformed. You want to see what manufacturing facilities in China look like? Here you go. Look at this. Now, these look like giant technology centers that are at the cutting edge of innovation. That's what manufacturing is today, both in the United States and in China. I started thinking about this when I saw a recent survey from the Cato Institute. It asked the question if America would be better off if more people worked in manufacturing. 80% of Americans agreed yes. But when they asked those same survey respondents, would you be better off working in a factory? Only 25% of Americans agreed. That's because people still think that factories are the same from 50 years ago. But take a look today at what Tesla or SpaceX factories look like. Take a look at any technology-enabled factory floor, maybe like Hadrian or Base Power. These companies are more like technology companies than they are old school manufacturers. The people are very skilled. They get paid well, they enjoy their jobs, and they take pride in the company's mission. If we got that message out to the masses, more people would be clamoring for these technology jobs. But they're just technology jobs focused on building physical products in the real world.